Hello and welcome to the weekly roundup of last week's news today. UKIP, punch up in Parliament, really. He says, oh, well, I'm from up north or wherever it was. And if someone offers you out, well, you've got to go out. These are the people that encourage the country to vote for Brexit. Are you sure? Punching up in Parliament. I cannot believe it. On the other side of the pond, I cannot believe trashy Trump. Talking about grabbing women in their... Uh -uh. Americans, please, is this the man you really want to be your president? He will have the world in World War Three in no time. It will be zombie apocalypse. Don't vote for this man. Other news, Kim K gets mugged in Paris. Nine million pounds of jewellery. Why? Who does that? I'm sorry. Never mind. Anyway, kitty box. Now, this week, I've hardly left the house because my bum has been stuck, stuck to the city. There has been so much new programmes coming out. I've just been in heaven. Anyway, let's have a look at what I'm watching. Don't care about everybody else. This is what I'm watching at the moment and what's new. Good place. Bad girl ends up in heaven, causes havoc, stars Ted Danson. Really funny. Quite worth a look. Yep. Notorious. You know me. A bit of mystery. Newspaper. Murder story. Timeless. Time machine with a black guy who has a fabulous line saying, name me one place in history where black people thought it was awesome. Luke Cage, superhero. Don't get it. Why is he using the N-word but love the eye candy? Deep water. Australian. Really gripping. More new housewives. Can you believe it? But we'll talk about that later. We've got some in Auckland and we've got some in Pontemay or Pontemore or whatever they want to call it. I don't know. We've got better things. Single mother of three whilst being a struggling actress. My kind of thing. Very funny. Speechless. Mini driver using her own English accent. Mother of a, a, a child with disabilities. Going for it. And we've got the remake of Lethal Weapon, which I like, but I just wish they didn't call it Lethal Weapon. They should call it something else. You know, Danny Glover doing his thing. That was his. But really quite good. Worth a watch as well. Also, we've got the return of some of my favourites. That I've been waiting for all season. And you know when the programme comes back. And old age. And you can't even remember how it ended last time. So you have to go back. So these are some of Giddy's returns. All of this happening this week. It was just manic. We had the return of Rosewood. Medical MD. Oh, this is Quincy MD but better eye candy. Chicago PD. Part of the franchise of Fire and Meds. But I like a bent copper. That's my, my kind of thing. Superstore, really, really funny, starring the lady that was in Ugly Betty. How to get away with murder. I cannot keep up with this. The twists, the turns, always has me guessing. Grey's Anatomy is back. Haven't watched it because it always makes me cry. And there's been so much else on. And we've also got The Apprentice. More idiot, power-hungry people who I pray never get into positions of power. And we also have Blackish. I wish we could make something as honest and funny like that in the UK. Anyway, this week I was up in the West End. Uh, watching the premiere of Amma Asante's A United Kingdom. Beautifully filmed. Uh, you know, it's a lovely film. Well shot. Well done, Amma. Hope it goes on to do great things. Now, why do we need more house hags? No, wives of... Yes, we have Potome. Apparently, it's a small place outside of Washington where everybody is bougie, pretentious and beige. The only dark-skinned woman there has the worst weave. I will not watch it. They are beige. They love being beige. I don't understand it. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Then we have some new ones in Auckland, New Zealand. Yes, and that's a black one. Yes, she was a model. And they're just all crazy. They're so crazy that on a boating trip, one of them, Julia, on the left, called Michelle, the black one, a boat nigger. Can you believe it? Well, Michelle, what did you think? You know, just look at... Australia, uh, New Zealand, I mean, get over it, it had to come, super crazy, caused a lot of uproar, you know, they're all friends now, then we have the ones of uh, New York, they're just so bitchy, I have pictures of your husband or your boyfriend on my phone and I screwed him too, yeah, we've got Orange County, they are just crazy cuckoo, really, crazy cuckoo, so not genuine friends, my favourites back in the day were the Beverly Hills ones because they were kind of classy, but they had some issues. They all need therapy. Yeah, but they were kind of cool. Then we, we in the UK decided to make Real Housewives of Cheshire. Why? They are so chavvy. Just call them Real Housewives of Croydon. I just don't get it. My favourite are the screechy drama 
drama women of New Jersey. Love Teresa, love all of that drama and it's just crazy. Poor Kathy. Then Atlanta is coming back but without Nini. So that means Kenya gets to rule the roost and no doubt the whole series will be ghetto. So that is my rundown of The Real Housewives. I'm sure there will be a batch coming to your area, your neighbourhood soon. Poor you. Hello and welcome to Heart Matters. I can do bad by myself. You know, sometimes it's better that we're on our own than we're with someone because, you know, sometimes the way people make you feel, you're better off being by yourself. You can do bad all by yourself. If you're chasing after a relationship with someone who doesn't want one with you or you're in something that you're more alone than part of a couple you need to ask yourself you know why am I here how does this person make me feel about myself when I'm with them more importantly how do I feel about myself when I'm not with them because you know sometimes when you're not with someone you're all right you're getting on with stuff doing stuff but we have this notion that if we're not with someone that somehow we're lacking and our days are going to be dark and lonely where sometimes when we're just not apart where we're apart from our partner we actually just get on with life you need to ask yourself does this person actually add to my life are there things that they do for me that I couldn't do for myself or I don't have time to do for myself you know little touches of TLC do they just make me feel better you know do I feel like I can you know just do more because they help they support you have to ask yourself do i compromise what i believe in to be with this person do i compromise my morals and a lot of the time we do sometimes we just want to be with someone that we just kind of make excuses or we we water down what we think and what we feel just to maintain a relationship it's a very, very slippery road because you can go down that road and just forget who you are, you know? To ask yourself, am I really in this because I want to be or because I'm lonely? The fear of loneliness can make you hang on to something that's long gone and died. The thing has died, it's gone to heaven, it come back down again, you know, Sometimes that, that fear of just being on your own is enough to keep people in the most horrendous situations. But you need to tell yourself, you can do bad by yourselves. You can not pay your own rent rather than give your money to someone to pay the rent and then find out that they haven't been paying it. You know, you can do lots of things bad by yourself that you don't need any help with at all. So you just need to ask yourself, am I chasing someone that really doesn't care about me? Somebody doesn't make me feel good about myself, even though that's a self-confidence issue. But you want to be around someone who genuinely likes you. Someone that you're free to express yourself with. Someone who never wants to hurt you. Considers you. Thinks, oh, I wonder what, let me do this for, you know. Somebody that really likes you. Because other than that, you might as well stay on your own grow yourself, love yourself, you know, and be ready for when the right one comes. Now, if you realise, oh no, I'm, I need to get out of this relationship and whatever, do that. And like I said before, have your pity party. Have the pity party where you think, oh, you fool, how could I have fallen for that? Blah, 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 blah. Beat your chest if you must. Yeah, but love yourself through it. Give yourself a time period. Everybody makes mistakes. Look forward to the day when you can see that person without wetting your, wetting your knickers and feeling all... Oh, <laughs> look for that day when you can look at them and think, Ew, what did I ever see in you? Because it will come. Be prepared. Allow that to be a possibility. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Talk to someone. You may feel on your own, but like I always say, you're never alone. Take care till next time. Bye.